Now I'm going to do a car from an angle and this time I'm going to do a white car. So of course we can't do pure white because it would be an invisible car so really it's a purple but with lots of water in it so it becomes like a, what would you say possibly lilac and then we begin the same as this one like that establishing the front of the car but leaving a gap for the lights I might make this a touch stronger hmm, I'm not sure if that's stronger even stronger because it looks too faint and then here we go with the side of the car and this has to go up at the bottom slightly you see that it has to go up slightly because of perspective just slightly but it's a very important point and if you don't do it then your car will not look right okay so we've done that now we're going to do the windscreen okay and so I have to remember that it's going to stop there and we've got a slight angle there but this angle is going to be even stronger because we're not seeing the car head on now so this angle is going to be much well it's going to be at a greater angle and this one is going to be more vertical but not completely and then here just a small suggestion of the side windows so that's that's not too bad and then quickly before it dries just here that radiator or whatever it is that grill just there and I might make this windscreen a bit stronger and maybe the angle is too great so I'm just going to adjust that yeah that's that's looking nice and then tissue again and then just a touch of light at the top hitting it and then with my finger yeah I quite like that didn't like that bit but maybe I can hide it a little by going over here again okay that will do ah oh, maybe this needs to be here and then the light here I got my perspective a bit wrong there and then one tire here one tire here basically just lines going down and then one wheel here and one wheel here now these wheels are further apart than these wheels basically because of perspective and I think these wheels come down too far but we can hide that a bit by making a big shadow and this time maybe I'll have the shadow coming forward like this and this is drying very quickly so these cars tend to have slight, a shadow like this whoops sometimes you can just scrape out mistakes I made that tire 
too wide. And yeah, I think that's looking good. I'm just going to get my liner brush now and just indicate where that side mirror, side mirror, light is, sorry. Yeah, that will do. And then maybe here, I'm going to have my license plate. And maybe I can indicate some kind of door and some kind of line there. There, maybe that's a bit too much. Just make that a bit fainter. And there we go. It's a bit of an aggressive looking car, I think, but quite like it with this liner brush I can do these little fine details so it's not great but it's good enough and then I can also do the top so just a suggestion of the roof it has a slight curve to it and I think, yeah, that will do. Or well, maybe here, I might wanna just do that. And there we go. Simple car coming at an angle. I might want to strengthen these wheels a little bit. So I get a thick mix. But I'm being, I have to do this quickly because this shadow is drying out and I kind of want the tires and the shadow blending together. But that's it. I think that's good enough. Um, this could have done with being a bit more of a nicer curve, but that's okay. And you can always wait for it to dry, wipe, wet it, wipe it out and do it again if you're really not happy with it. Okay, so now let's do a blue car going away from us.